One of the biggest stories today at the Games has been around Simone Biles' withdrawal from the gymnastics, which has shone a light again on mental health of young athletes, especially those that are at the top of their field. And there's a documentary you may not have heard about that was produced a couple of years ago, released officially last year, called The Weight of Gold. And what's really interesting about it is it talks about the pressures, not just on all elite athletes, but particularly those that are at the very top. We imagine that people that win gold are in fact on top of the world. It's clearly not the case. Many athletes struggle through being a professional athlete generally, but especially when they make it to the top. And I think people like Michael Phelps who are present within this documentary just draw attention to the fact that there is a need for a great deal of support for athletes when they get to that level, but particularly on the journey towards it. And Simone Biles today cited the fact that she no longer enjoys participating in gymnastics or didn't, certainly during Tokyo. And I think that aspect of enjoyment and pleasure that we think is always present there if you're an athlete clearly isn't the case for many athletes who are there because it's a job, because it's something they have been trained to do, developed to do, and in fact have done all their lives. It's clear that becoming top of your field has a huge weight attached to it. And today's events, on top of what's happened earlier in the games with Naomi Osaka being the person to light the cauldron, of course, famously in the spotlight earlier in the year for withdrawing from tournaments because of mental health, has reminded everybody that there's a lot more attention here than we have given support for in the past. And I think as an academic, thinking about these topics and, and wondering why we haven't talked about them in the past has been really surprising. And I think it's partly because we, we often expect athletes to be performing all the time. It's often something we don't allow much space to discuss, perhaps because it's seen as, as a weakness. In fact, I think everybody around the athletes at these games have been very forthright in saying that in fact speaking about these things is a strength and it's really challenging to do so. So I think it's really exciting that we have these things happening and that there's a much more public debate about it taking place at the Games this year.